today. Harvesting hurts the forest is done with extremely heavy machines run on millions of liters of diesel that cuts down 20% in vain just to get access. They damage remaining trees and roots next to the path, lose vitality and grow slower. It is damage to the ecosystem, can damage the soil permanently, release mercury that is transported to the lakes and decrease biodiversity. Due to climate change, the forest is stressed, getting more invasive species that kills the trees. This leads into dead forest. 41.1% of the U.S. living forest biomass at risk. It spreads and a dream for wildfires that last year emitted 6.5 gigatons carbon dioxide. This has to change now. Let me introduce you to air forestry. We are reinventing the forestry by moving up the harvest of trees to the air. And today we are launching our product, Forest System. And it consists of four subsystems. And the first one is our drone. And it's 6.2 meters in diameter. This was only five meter tape, so it's bigger than the stage. So I asked if we could bring the drone to this place, but they say, sorry, the stage is too small. <laughs> uh, the drone has a lift capacity of 400 kilos and it's optimized to fly with 200 kilos. It's well enough to handle all trees in sitting operation in the forestry. The drones consist of six arms that are manufactured of carbon fiber. It makes it ultra light, and the drone have tilted rotor blades that we can have extra precision, and we don't need to tilt the drone to fly in sideways as the traditional drones do. That means we can integrate and integ integrate with objects on the forest floor much better. And the drone flies out with our next sub sub subsystems, the harvesting tool. And thanks to computer vision, we can detect and select exactly the trees we would like to see out. And when the, the computer have decided, we, we descend the harvesting tool down to the treetop and hugs it. And then we let the gravity do the rest and release it down and all the branches go away on the tree. Well at the bottom of the tree, we cut the tree off and lift the complete tree log out to the roadside for further transportation to the industry without touching the forest floor or other trees. And it's going really fast, so I will show you once more. It's so fantastic. Everything started at my farm where we did parallel development of the tool and the drone, and we used my forest as a test facility so we can early be in the reality from day one. This is Linnea, one of our first employees. She has a PhD in control system, how to land drones on boats and cars that are moving in 80 kilometers an hour. She did with us the initial test of our propeller and motor and drivetrain to verify the parameters and put them in separate parallel development of the control systems. So we are building our own control systems for the drone. We also, at this, this stage, could verify that we can half the energy consumption to move a tree from the forest to the roadside. Half the energy consumption. And that was a key insight why we founded the Air Forestry. Can you, we can reduce the energy so much. It's incredible. And we started Air Forestry in 2020, and we have already attracted a top talent team of 25 persons. So I have all the competence in-house today to delivering this system. Another very important insight was when we had first assembling the harvester tool, and I hold it in my hand, and I'm thinking for myself. 60 kilos device with sharp edges. If I release this on a treetop, the branches will fall off. And what that happened. And since this, we also have added extra functionality and optimized the tool to have minimized friction so it will run smoothly down through the tree log. And our third subsystem is the operating environment, where we're operating all drone flights from. And 
an important thing was also to increase the working environment for these ones in the forest, uh, to increase the safety and not be alone. And today, 98% of the ones working with forest are men. So we will let a woman design the working environment, so hopefully we will have more women working in forestry in the future. And the fourth subsystem is the battery solution. So we now we can bring out green electricity to the forest that are powered with solar panels and wind farms, making it 100% fossil free. So now I'm really proud to present the air forestry system that consists of the big high capacity drone harvesting tool, the operating station and the battery storage and battery mobile solution. And the next step for us now is to put these together and start harvest a tree. And that will be really, really soon, so stay tuned. With air forestry, we can harvest trees, adapt, restore, and stop invasive pests from spread in any harsh and remote terrain, everything from archipelagos to swamps to steep slope, without damaging the soil, roots, or nature meaning we get a more volatile and more healthy forest with better production. With air forestry, we can complete eliminating the diesel in the forest operations, equal to 10 million tons carbon dioxide savings each year. And by removing the access route traditional machines need to take up in the forest, we can let more trees remain and grow, meaning the forest can store up to 200 million tons carbon dioxide extra each year by using the air forestry systems. And now, we can design the forest floor exactly how we want. So we can get more productive, more resilient, and more beautiful forest for me, for you, for everyone to enjoy with our children and for future generations. So let's reinvent the forestry today, right here, right now, together. Thank you.